Our journey through the eerie side of London begins at the Tower of London. A historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames, it holds a reputation for being one of the most haunted places in London. The most famous spectral resident of the Tower is Anne Boleyn, the ill-fated second wife of King Henry VIII, who was beheaded in 1536 for treason against the King. Her headless body has been seen walking the tower's corridors and often near the spot of her execution. But Anne Boleyn's ghost is not the only spirit that roams these ancient halls. There have been numerous reports of phantom soldiers, mysterious screams and even ghostly animals. As we delve into the stories of these apparitions, the tower's bloody history comes to life, giving us a glimpse into its dark past. As we leave the tower, our journey through the haunted capital is just beginning. Now, we take a step back in time to the gritty streets of Whitechapel, the hunting ground of Jack the Ripper. The chilling autumn of 1888 saw the rise of London's most notorious phantom, a shadowy figure who terrorised the East End with a streak of gruesome murders. Nestled in the heart of this area was the East End Hospital, a place of refuge and fear. This hospital bore witness to the aftermath of the Ripper's horrific deeds as it cared for the survivors and examined the victims. The doctors and nurses walked a tightrope of fear, their roles shifting from caregivers to key figures in this grim investigation. They were tasked with piecing together the macabre puzzle left by the Ripper, their every move followed by a city held captive by fear. As we leave the chilling streets of Whitechapel, we delve deeper into London's eerie legacy. Next, we venture into the tranquil yet haunting cemeteries of London. These serene landscapes adorned with ancient headstones and crypts harbour centuries of history and countless tales of the supernatural. They say that in the stillness of the night you can hear the faint whispers of the departed echoing through the eerie silence. Highgate Cemetery, for instance, is famous for its supposed vampire sightings in the late 20th century. The spectral figure, often seen near the tomb of Karl Marx, has become a legend in its own right. Then there's the Brompton Cemetery, where it's been reported that the mausoleum of a certain Victorian courtesan isn't just her final resting place. Rumour has it, the ghost of the bewitching lady often graces the cemetery with her ethereal presence. These tales are but a glimpse into the spectral world that resides within London's cemeteries. From the chilling silence of the graveyards, we shift to the intriguing world of London's abandoned places. In the heart of the bustling city lie places forgotten by time, hiding dark tales and secrets. London, a city with a history spanning over two millennia, is home to abandoned buildings that silently narrate stories of the past. These deserted structures, once teeming with life, now stand as ghostly reminders of forgotten epochs. Take, for instance, the derelict Victorian mansions that silently brood in the corners of the city. Their once grand facades are now tarnished, and they stand as mournful relics of a bygone era. Each room within these hollowed walls whispers tales of opulence, decadence and eventual downfall. Then there are the abandoned factories from the Industrial Revolution, their rusted machinery telling tales of innovation, labour and the relentless march of time. These monumental structures, now overtaken by nature, serve as a stark reminder of the city's industrial past. As we emerge from the shadows of the abandoned, we delve beneath the city's surface. Beneath the bustling streets of London lies a realm steeped in mystery and intrigue. This hidden world, much like the city above, has its own tales of the unexplained and eerie. The London Underground, a marvel of engineering, is not just a network of tunnels and trains. It's a labyrinth where history and legend intertwine. Stories of ghostly apparitions and phantom trains echo in the tunnels, where the past seems to bleed into the present. One such tale is of the Screaming Spectre at Farringdon Station, believed to be the ghost of Anne Naylor, a young girl murdered in the 18th century. Her cries are said to reverberate through the station to this day. Then there's the legend of the British Museum Station, closed for over 80 years, yet some claim to hear the ghostly sounds of its once bustling activity. Leaving the city's underbelly, we turn to the chilling tales that have sprung from London's rich literary tradition.
The city's eerie side has inspired countless authors, their words bringing to life its ghostly inhabitants. London's murky past and labyrinthine streets have been the backdrop for many spine-chilling tales. The Gothic architecture and eerie foggy nights set the stage for Bram Stoker's Dracula, where the infamous vampire stalks the city's streets. Then there's the haunting of 50 Berkeley Square, dubbed as the most haunted house in London, which has been immortalized in many terrifying tales. Robert Louis Stevenson's The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde also walks us through the city's dark alleys, capturing the dual nature of London society. And let's not forget Charles Dickens, who often used the city's dark and grimy aspects to create a sense of dread and suspense in his novels. From the pages of books, we now step into the realm of London's ancient curses and rituals. London's history is steeped in mystery and the occult, with tales of ancient curses and rituals echoing through the ages. This city, with its centuries-old buildings and shadowy corners, has seen more than its fair share of arcane practices. One such tale revolves around the curse of the cursed pear tree at Lincoln's Inn Fields. Legend has it that anyone who plucks a pear from this tree meets an untimely end. Then there's the infamous Bleeding Heart Yard, named after the heart of Lady Elizabeth Hatton, which was found still beating after her gruesome murder in the 16th century. It's said that on certain nights you can still hear the thumping of her heart. And who can forget the ritualistic practices of the Hellfire Club? This secret society of the 18th century was known for their debauched rituals and dealings with the occult. From ancient curses, we move to the spectral inhabitants of London's haunted hotels and restaurants. Next, we visit the haunted hotels and restaurants of London, where guests check in, but some never check out. The Langham Hotel, for example, is said to house several spectres, including a Victorian doctor who took his life after murdering his wife on their honeymoon. Then there's the Viaduct Tavern, a pub built on the site of a former prison. Patrons often report strange occurrences like taps turning on by themselves and glass bottles flying off the shelves. Over at the Ten Bells pub, where victims of Jack the Ripper were rumoured to have drunk, the chilling past is palpable. Staff and customers alike have reported seeing the ghost of Annie Chapman, one of the Ripper's victims. And let's not forget the Grenadier pub in Belgravia, famous for the ghost of a young officer who was beaten to death over a game of cards. Leaving the haunted hospitality behind, we enter the shadowy world of occult London. Our journey now takes us into the heart of occult London, a place where dark secrets lie hidden. This isn't simply a city of grandeur and royalty. It's also a melting pot of myth, mystery and magic. Tucked away in narrow alleys and hidden corners, you'll find stores brimming with arcane books, mystical artifacts and relics. These shops, with their dusty shelves and a distinctive aroma of old parchment, are the keepers of London's occult history. Dabbling in the occult isn't a modern trend. It has roots deep within the city's history, tracing back to its earliest inhabitants. Individuals both infamous and unknown have left their mark on this mystic landscape, their stories interwoven with the city's fabric. From alchemists seeking the philosopher's stone to cunning folk offering charms and remedies, London's occult past is as diverse as it is compelling. As we emerge from occult London, we prepare to conclude our journey. Our journey through London's spooky side comes to an end, but the city's mysteries remain. We've wandered through the Tower of London, delved into the chilling tale of Jack the Ripper, and visited haunted cemeteries. We've explored abandoned places, ventured beneath the city's surface, and examined the horrors in London's literature. We've also uncovered ancient curses and rituals, and stepped into the ghostly world of haunted hotels and restaurants. Finally, we've unveiled the dark secrets of occult London, adding an extra layer of mystery to this fascinating metropolis. Each of these stories is a piece of the puzzle, making up the darker side of London's history. Yet the city still holds many secrets, waiting for the curious and the brave to discover. So, will you dare to delve deeper into these mysteries? Thank you for joining us on this alternative London tour. Remember, the city's eerie side is waiting for you to discover.